What's going on everybody? So today I'm matching the pistons to the connecting rods so I can figure out which one goes in each uh, piston hole. Uh, you want to do this so it doesn't create any vibrations. You want to have your heaviest piston with your lightest rod and vice versa to get close to a matching weight. The closer you can get to these matching weights, the less vibration it'll have because it'll have more force pulling a heavier item than a lighter item. So I got a scale. It's okay. Uh, I wish it was a little bit better, but it'll work for what I need to do so I can get these close enough to uh, match them together. So this is the little scale that I got. It's got this cover that comes off of it and then another cover that comes off of the scale part. The part that I'm not super proud of is this right here. It's not the table because I can put it on any other surface. It's got a little warp in it that's not allowing it to sit completely flush. So not excited about that, but I'll work with it. So I've turned it on and I've already went through and checked these pistons already, but we'll check them again. So this one's 393.62 and it's 64. So it's pretty close. I mean, that's a hundredth, there's six, seven, a hundredth of a gram difference. I've gone through and weighted everything. These ones will change drastically once I get them out of the plastic because the plastic isn't gonna be the same. So that one was more for fun, I guess, to double check everything. And these ones are not necessary, but I thought, well, it's easier to do it now than later. One of the things that's gonna change on this is when you go to file them, they're gonna change their weights because you're filing off to fit them into the cylinder bore. So those will change, but I did it just in case I needed to do it for some reason. Manly sent these connecting rods. These are the TurboTuff I-beams. They have an average weight um, on both ends. So this is your big end, this is your small end, or your piston end. This is when it was weighted. And if we open it up, it comes with a little card. This card says your average weight, your total weight, your big end weight, your pin end weight, the order number when it was done, and this is manly certified. And then also it has a lot number if you need to reference anything. They've also got the, the small end or the pin end and the big end written on here, but they don't have the total. So I'm gonna go through and total up all the weights so I can figure out which one's my heaviest one and which one's, which one's my lightest one. So here's what I have going on. This is all my uh, connecting rods. This is all my piston weights. These are my total weights for each piston to can or rod to piston with the total weight. Now I can figure out what the total difference is. My total difference between the heaviest setup and the lightest setup is 1.3 grams. Now, since this is a Subaru motor, you're going to have one on each side opposing, coming together and going apart. So you have to set it up with two different setups. So one will be lighter and one will be heavier, I guess. So you want to set up your two lightest weights together and your two heaviest weights together, or the two most matching. And the difference between those is half a gram and two tenths of a gram. So the whole setup right now will be very, very close. That's pretty good. I might try to get it a little bit better. I might switch around some other things or come up with different setups. I still have to measure out the connecting rods, excuse me, the pin, the pins to get a weight on those because those are part of the rotating assembly as well. To give you a perspective of how much this is out, Here's a small paper clip that's just about half a gram. Here's a larger paper clip that's one gram. I have to take these out. They're coated in oil, so I'm gonna clean them off and then weigh them three times, average that weight, and write it down so I know which one weighs what. 
so we'll get to it. Any little bit of gr grease or oil that's left on this is going to cause a unbalanced or a misreading. So you want to make sure to get every, every little bit of oil that you can out of it. That means even on the inside. Now that it's all clean, we'll take it over here, our scale's on, put it in the center. 131 set, 37, 39, 37. So we're gonna say it's 131, 37. We'll do it one more time, just in case. So we'll go 131, 38. Write that down as two, one, 31.38 perfect next one so here's my quick calculations of everything that I'm trying to get done so here's my connecting rods pistons and wrist pins um, my total weight for connecting rods and pistons total weight with wrist pins and then here's my two differences here's my lower two my bigger two Here's my wrist pin calculations, and here they all are again. So I'm gonna go through and take the heaviest piston and lower the total weight from it by about half a gram, hopefully, maybe a little bit less than that, maybe a little bit more depending on what this, this turns out to be. system I actually came up with. It's actually a hole saw that I've, I will take and slide this underneath through making sure not to scratch anything and then I can turn it on and lower it but when I'm lowering it I'll take this and I'll move it around that's why I've got the microfiber down and that will give me a nice flat surface. And when I'm done, just take it and remove it. Nice and carefully, not to scratch anything. And then all the shavings, you blow them out with the air nozzle. So I went through and got two of these machined down. This one was the one that I had to take down the most. It was almost a gram heavier than everything else. So you can see the machine surface and then I'll pull one out that I didn't even touch and that's the part that I took off so I assume that this part's not structural the manly part so I took that off that's actually this side so you can see I started with drill bits and that wasn't working and then I had to go to this side because it was getting I didn't want to take too much off one side and make it lopsided but that's the befores and afters of lightening them. Here's the full system set up. This is my connecting rod, my piston, and my wrist pin, and here's my total weights. So this is my after grinding total weights for all four. Now these two are within uh, two thousands, and these two are within two thousands of a gram. But these are a gram heavier than these ones, so I'm wondering if that's going to be a problem because this connecting rod I can't measure. I don't have a uh, a scale that will go high enough and these are two grams well a gram and a half heavier than the other one on the short end which is strange because I, there's nowhere to grind off the short end so I'll have to do some more research and figure out what if that's gonna make a difference because on this shaft this one and this one they're opposing so they'll go in and out on each other but this side and this side this side and this side will be um, a gram heavier or a gram lighter depending on which side I decide to put it on.
You can see all the methods I was trying. I started out with this grinder and it's just got a bit on it that will take stuff off and then I graduated to drill bits and I couldn't find a drill bit that was flat enough. They all have a point on them that was causing me to drill holes and I didn't like the look of that and then I finally ended up doing this drill press and just moving it around. This worked the best for me. Cool, well that's gonna do it for me today. I've got that pretty well figured out which one's gonna go which, or which one's, which system is going to go where. So now I can do a little bit more research and figure out if that gram's gonna really make a difference because it's going to be really hard to take it off that connecting rod because my scale doesn't go that high. My scale tops out at 500 grams and the connecting rods are I, 595, 5, 597, so they're a good 100 grams over what I need to actually measure to. So, and they're connecting rods, so you're supposed to measure them sideways, half on, half off. Yeah, it's a mess. So, we'll see about that. This has started. I'm real close to putting the short block together and hopefully I can start getting that done. The connecting rods are gonna throw me for a little bit, so hopefully I can figure those out real quick and throw that connecting rod together, then I can throw the short, short block all together. That'll be cool to get that done. And then I gotta work on the heads. The heads I've still got to lap the valves, and that's it really, as far as doing stuff. Then I put it, have to put it all together. Oh, but then I have to do the, the discs, the dishes. So I'll have to figure out the tolerances for the dishes on that. Uh, yeah, so that should be what I need for that. And then I gotta paint a couple more things, clean up a bunch more things. My oil pan is disgusting, so I gotta redo that. There's a couple other little things in there. We'll figure it out sooner and later. So I wanna thank you all for watching. This has been pretty entertaining. I, I'm learning. I didn't completely came up with that all on my own. I hadn't seen anything like that. So that'll work for me. I wanna thank you guys all for watching. Uh, peace out and have a great rest of your day. See ya. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.